Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly uh, reading for Libra. How are you guys, Libras? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Soon as I said Libra, out come a surrender, Sky Dancer. Someone's about to surrender here. Ooh, Herald of Change. There's change coming. Now this is an energy of of communication someone coming in oh, this person's in a hurry someone's about to surrender here so there's going to be communication this is someone rising above the fray so this is someone who has their eye on someone they're very focused but someone rising above the fray in other words not involving other people no gossip no talk you know that kind of thing uh, it's an energy of avoiding chaos and conflict drama. So someone's about to come in and surrender and communicate. Yeah. So we have the jeweled web connecting. It's someone who wants to connect. Okay, but it's someone who's disconnecting from other people because they're coming forward. They want to avoid the fray as the drama, all that. But they're very focused. But this could actually be online. Okay, the jeweled web often I see is online. Connectivity, connecting. But it could be just someone who wants to connect. They want to talk. So it's about communication. Libra. Yeah. So we have, yeah, we have an Empress energy. It's the start of something new. Grace and generosity. I feel that you're probably open to this. Okay. This could be on the web, like I say, social media, things like that. Um, but it's someone wanting to talk and connect. I feel like the, the feminine's open, yeah. It's a gestation period. So things haven't been moving. Things have been slow. So this is the gestation period. This is an empress who's, you know, or, or just the start of something new. But it's a person who's often open. But things have been moving kind of slow, the gestation period. So something has been manifesting behind the scenes. <laughs> it's a person who's very creative, very balanced, often very generous the grace and generosity so there's going to be some sort of connection tell me about this surrender who is this that's surrendering six of cups somebody who's reminiscing or longing for love now this could be someone coming in with a little gift this is often someone who shows someone they like them but there it's an energy of someone who's doesn't want to involve other people like the drama things like that because they're very focused on their intention here Oh, yeah. Someone's got their eye on you. It could be someone you've known before, often, it, or it's just a crush. Uh, we shall see. It's sometimes a person missing someone or just longing. Yeah, so it's somebody here going to reach out. They're hoping the other person reciprocates, but it's someone who's no longer talking to other people. See, they're not, they're, they want to communicate, but they're not giving. Now, this could be the Empress, too, no longer giving to someone here. But it has to do with this person coming in and being generous. See, so the, the Empress is open. Shower the abundance. This is someone who's ready. Ready, willing, and able here. <laughs> Libra, is that yourself? It probably is. Not that Empress energy. Yeah, you know your worth and value. If they want to connect, they need to take the appropriate action. So let's have a look at the Eye of the Eagle. The eye of the eagle. Yeah. So I see some kind of truth. Somebody having a little aha moment here. But it has to do with truth, victory, win or lose. This person's coming in. They're very enthusiastic and, you know, they're definitely very determined here. Very passionate energy. But it's about change. Someone's ready for change. Mm-hmm. And then we have the magician. See communication, connecting. So this is someone who has all the tools, the information. They have everything they need to know. This could be something that you've manifested here. And then we have judgment. So yeah, it's an energy of someone making a decision. So this is someone who's healed. They've released things. They This is someone ready for something new. So it's the release and renew. Someone's releasing someone, maybe from the past, letting the past go. Uh, if it's not yourself, it's this other person. But there you are. This is your decision. You decide. It could be someone with Gemini in their chart. But like I say, it really could be anyone with this energy. But it's a person surrendering. They're coming in. <laughs> win or lose you know they want to communicate they have the tools the information i wouldn't doubt if it is someone that you've known before but look at there's the tower so this is something sudden bit of a shock a surprise but it's somebody suddenly coming out of the cold okay it's been brewing it's been gestating and manifesting like i say behind the scenes someone wants to communicate yeah you got a king of cups here this is somebody here you know 
like I say, win or lose, they're coming in. But it's also somebody here who's, like I say, no longer giving. Someone's seeing a situation in a different light here as well. So it's up to the feminine here, I feel, to decide here. Now, it could be a reconciliation for some of you. Okay, but some of you too, I also see somebody here who, who's leaving something behind. Irreconcilable differences. <laughs> That's what it's telling me. But you're open to receive. See, being open to receive. Who is this King of Cups? Someone in their feelings. Someone definitely in their feelings here. Yeah, King of Wands too. Somebody who's bold. Win or lose. You see, I was like, hmm. Yeah, they're definitely being bold. They're taking an opportunity. Now, some of you may have a choice. You could be, like I say, no longer giving to someone, leaving the past in the past and open to this new. This is someone who's open to new. So, yeah, often open to new ideas, all kinds of things. There could be work situations here as well. I'm doing your reading a little different than others. I decided to just go with the flow. But if it is a work situation, I do see uh, opportunities. Some of you could be moving away from something in the past here too. But I also see an idea, something to do with children. Uh, it could be something that costs a little bit of money, putting up more money and it coming, more coming in. So this is why the Empress is open to new ideas, new prospects. So could be something very creative as well with someone who has all the information, the tools, someone who's capable to manifest. So something to do with generosity. Um, but the Empress is open here. The Empress will decide, like I say, so it's someone who's releasing something, letting it go, and uh, being open to something new. Yeah, it's a person tempering. See, someone here, temperance little Sagittarius energy for some of you, but it's a person here who's just kind of calming down. See, someone's getting ready. I feel the Empress is ready. <laughs> so someone being patient. But some of you too, you may have a choice here where something feels off, it doesn't feel right. That's why I feel no longer giving to someone. Not and you're not, but you're not giving up on love. See, you're not giving up or, or whatever this is. It could be, like I say, a job, some kind of idea, but it has to do with someone who's very focused. I feel like you've got you know, some of you could be leaving a king of cups behind, but this could also just be this person, somebody with these energies of you know, kindness, compassion, you know, somebody who's longing for love, but this is also somebody here who's. Uh, win or lose, they're just coming in, they're being bold. Because there's someone who's been thinking about this, gestating it, you know, kind of nurturing it here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Someone's in their feelings, and that's what it is. It's something you know, manifesting behind the scenes. Tell me about this magician. Yeah, see, this is someone who's not sure what to think, feeling a little drained. So it could be someone who's feel they missed an opportunity to connect. Someone who feels they missed an opportunity to connect. But it's also, it could be people who are all connected together here. Some kind of connection. Yeah, interesting. Tell me about that Four of Cups. There we go. Yeah, some sort of tower. Something happened here. Something very sudden. So someone's drained. Or someone is, is shocked, surprised because there's, I don't know if there was a rejection or someone ignoring someone. But it's something that a person didn't expect. And then we have, yeah, so there's been some chaos drama possibly competition. Someone here, I feel, win or lose, they're coming in. But it has to do with connecting, some kind of drama. Someone's going through a little inner turmoil here, you know, struggles. But often this is, it can be positive too, but it's a pro to person taking action. Okay, they're taking action. It's an epiphany, this opportunity where someone is having this realization, they have everything they need. And it's what they need and what they need to do is connect. It's about talking. It's about communicating. Yeah, so someone here who's been you know, looking at all the possibilities, they're looking at this. They're prepared for how things may play out. They could get rejected. So they see all the possibility that this they could be rejected. But win or lose, they're coming forward. Yeah, see, manifesting. Yeah, it says two people manifesting each other here. It has to do with connecting, talking, communicating. It's all about that communication. So energy of breaking the ice too, I feel. Yeah, but the temperance is this person kind of, you know, after a period of time pulling back, seeing some kind of truth, seeing someone in a different light, someone seeing an empress. You see, that's what they're seeing here. That's And that's why they know win or lose. They need to come in. They need to take action. It's something worth fighting for. But there actually could be competition. So this is why this person is coming in this way. 
They're not giving up. This is someone who's not giving up. <laughs> I feel we have an empress who's given up on someone else, though, just kind of no longer talking and giving, because I feel what it's there's somebody here very generous. They're coming towards you, and they're determined. I mean, they're moving fast here. You know, it's actually an emperor. This person's an emperor here. Uh, definitely emotionally mature. Yeah, that's an energy of the two of wands. See, this has to do with, it could be some of you have a choice between two. There could be two different people. But I feel it has to do with somebody approaching someone, talking to them, taking things to the next level. Someone's leveled up too. And it has to do with someone, it could be whether you're in alignment, see, being in alignment. It's possible you have someone here, the feminine, where you're not in alignment with someone, where you're more in alignment with someone else. But we'll see. Tell me about that two of wands. Yeah. See, so we have, yeah, high priestess, someone trusting their inner knowing. Someone here already knows everything they need to know. Yeah. So it has to do with this energy of either two people making a choice or this person leveling up and someone being alignment, being in alignment, taking something to the next level. So we have someone here who's been kind of keeping it all in, keeping everything to themselves. Because they're, they're gestating it, they're manifesting it, they're thinking about it. And, you know, it's brewing, you know, those emotions. <laughs> but they're keeping it all to themselves. Look at, though, this is someone who knows. They already know. They know. There's a pearl here. But the shell also signifies uh, communication. But this is that pearl. See, there's something here, this person. They know. They, they see an empress. Let me just fix this. I hope that hasn't been... I'm um, going back and forth, zooming in and out. It does this just randomly. Tell me more about temperance. See, it's something coming with an idea, possibly something romantic, but they're keeping it to themselves. This is someone, like I say, they're not telling other people. They don't want competition or drama, so it's avoiding. This is someone trying to avoid any kind of drama. So I feel they're keeping it to themselves. They're not telling anybody. They're going to come towards you. Okay. So it looks to me like they're disconnecting from something. Yeah, see, it has to do with that aha moment. Someone sees you in a different light, but win or lose. There's going to be some truth and victory. This person is, you know, look at that. You know, they want to build here. See, it's about putting in the effort they want to build. But it takes two people to build. So some of you have someone who's putting in the effort they want to build, and some of you have someone you're leaving behind. But I, like I say, giving up on someone, maybe from the past, leaving the past in the past. It could be the other person, but whoever they are, like I say, you know, this is someone who's keeping it all in, yeah, and keeping all their feelings to themselves. They're not saying anything, to, not, not about yourself, but about anyone else. They don't want to involve anyone else. It's an event, energy of avoiding conflict but there could be competition too because they're looking at how it can play out so they're prepared this is someone preparing themselves okay with temperance being patient finding their inner balance head and heart decision but they're keeping it all to themselves and preparing yeah so it's telling you to prepare because <laughs> it's going to be probably a bit of a shock a surprise uh, what this person's going to tell you. Because you're manifesting, maybe even mirroring each other here. Yeah, see, it's about being in alignment. This person feels like you're in alignment. Yeah, look at that. So it has to do with someone taking a leap of faith. See, just going for it, they're feeling really bold. Yeah, they know they have to push through any of that fear that you might reject them, ignore them, and they're just going for it. Yeah, they want to go down this path here. But this is someone who's also reflected. They, they're leaving something behind. See, they've left something behind. And it could be yourself, too. You know, you might, I feel like you're going to go for this, to be honest. I do. Yeah. I really feel like you've got... And I, I don't feel like this is necessarily two people, but it could be for some of you. Uh, one of them is definitely an emperor. Somebody who's stable. Structured, wise. But it has to do with being in alignment, the mirroring, see? The two of wands. They're lining something up. They're preparing something. They're getting ready. But it's also telling the feminine to be prepared. And just be calm. <laughs> be patient. It's coming. Yeah, see? Looking at things from a different perspective. This is the hanged man. See? 
There's a, a whole, someone here is looking at things from a whole different perspective. It could be someone who's been checking you out. It could be online too with the, the jeweled web. Yeah. But they could be connected to you who's connected to someone else. <laughs> You see how that works? Yeah, checking things out. But there's that little moment where this person's going within some introspection. Maybe even you're checking each other out, but it tells me about this person checking things out and approaching. Um, some of They're trying to line something up too, I feel. It's telling me they're trying to line up something, something different, something unique, possibly romantic. They definitely have feelings. Yeah, they want to... They want to get this going. They're coming in right, see, putting the best foot forward, planting the seed. You know, they want to build a foundation. They want to build something with you. They're going to put effort into this too. However they communicate, they're going to put a lot of effort in it. They've been exploring their feelings. See, they're getting in touch with their inner feelings, their emotions. So it's asking you out. This is a date. It's like the Knight of Cups. They want to communicate. They want to ask you out. So saying to be patient, prepare. This person's preparing themselves for any outcome, whatever could happen. They are prepared that you might reject them. You might not be interested. Okay. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like you're going to be shocked and surprised and a little bit not sure what to think at first with this person. It's going to come in suddenly. Okay. Now it could be online, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, they want to get something going. This person's actually, you got a person who's happy, high vibrational. I do see truth, everything being exposed. So pretty nice. It looks like it looks like a new person. If it isn't new, it's just somebody coming in to express themselves. Tell me about that six of cups. Let's just see what that is. It looks like a crush, something, you know, somebody wanted see nine of wands, somebody who felt like giving up. It's someone who's felt like giving up, but they're not giving up. Or some of you are, you know, uh, been waiting for something here and you're looking back feeling beat up. And it's the feminine maybe giving up on no longer giving to someone. But it could be the other person. But it's an energy of someone here who definitely isn't a quitter. I mean, it's an emperor. This is someone who, um, you know, takes that risk. They calculate the risk. They take that leap of faith. I like the mirroring. I like the communication. I feel you're, you're manifesting each other here. So pretty fantas uh, fantastic reading. Yep, Emperor, somebody very positive, happy, high vibrational. Uh, this is very nice. This is someone feeling happy, like they're very coming in with a very positive energy outlook. I feel they're looking at coming up with ideas. I feel like there's romance here, you know, romance, dining. They want to do something to make you happy. Uh, if you say yes, which I feel you're going to say yes. This person would, couldn't be happier. Yeah, see? There it is. Building a foundation. Building the foundation. Start of something. A reason to celebrate. Could be an invitation to the home or some kind of get-together. But it has to do with home. Now, they could show up suddenly at your home. Okay? Or they may reach out to ask where you live. Or they may ask someone else that you're connected to. Especially if they've checked you out online, some of you, okay? They may reach out to ask someone where you live. And it's likely someone they all, you all know each other, more than likely. Yeah. There's nothing to be suspicious of here. I feel you probably know the person because I feel like you're manifesting each other. One more on the Four of Wands. Yeah, see, taking a leap of faith. They want to go down this path. This is an energy of putting down roots, history. There's things this person wants to know. I feel like you probably have a bit of a history with them, some of you. Yeah, looks like it's just one of those crushes that, you know, it's time for this person to get going. They are longing for love. It is someone who longs for love. And they're very kind, compassionate. This is often a person who's kind of macho, but actually very sensitive on the inside. and <laughs> Very masculine. Yeah, but they are an emperor, so there's somebody here who's learned the lessons of the kings. But these are the energies coming in, yeah. They're definitely someone who wants love. I feel like you're both going to go for it. We have an emperor and empress here. I think you're both, it's like a yes. I see yes here. Uh, and taking a leap of faith and just going for it. Just kind of, and I do feel like just being patient, you know, uh, checking things out to see how it goes. I feel this could go well. I do feel there is some sort of union, two people coming together here. So I really wish you the best in this. I feel like you're manifesting and I feel like you both have everything you need. You manifested the energies of the 
emperor and empress. You've mastered life, and now it's time where you're in alignment. So you're in alignment with this person. Pretty nice energy. <laughs> yeah, look at that six of cups. Long. He, I wouldn't doubt if you've known this person for some time. There's something to do with history or roots, possibly in the past. Maybe it's a high school friend or just a crush where somebody's had a crush on you for a long time and never done anything about it. But um, it's an energy of often with that pentacle giving you a gift, something sentimental. Okay, It's an energy of creating memories, hit, you know, creating that history. So it is, some of you, it could be somebody completely new for sure. And then we have yeah, emotional fulfillment. This is somebody who wants to make you happy. I mean, they're putting themselves out there, you know, they want to make you happy. It's an energy of wish fulfillment, happiness. Um, there could be some sort of gathering, like I say, a, a, someone's home, something to do with home. They could show up at your home, but it has to do with all this emotional fulfillment. This is often an opportunity of like... Yeah, it could be a festival, a, a wedding, um, some sort of invitation here, you know, some sort of family get together or gathering. It's often a, a very happy occasion, a celebration often. So I wish you guys the very best here. Yeah, you're going to come together. You're going to put all those cups on the table, share all your little, share your feelings and connect and talk. I feel like you'll see eye to eye here. I actually feel like you're going to get along, see, connect, and you're actually going to connect. So I wish you the best. Do take care and we'll see you soon.